joined King County Explorer Search and Rescue, so was responding to a lot of missions up in the mountains for injured hikers or lost hikers. And we had one particular mission that was out on the Olympic Peninsula. Um, and we got flown in in Huey helicopters and the, the doors were off. And I remember we banked super hard at one point to get down to our landing spot. And I just remember this amazing view of the Olympic mountains and the glaciers and the, the trees and just this wilderness. And I, I think that definitely was that pivotal moment. I didn't know how I was going to do it yet, but I knew I wanted to do something that was outside and in the environment. And that was relevant to me here at home. I born and raised in Washington on the East side. Like I just had so much connection in that moment to further environmental um, protection in our, in our area. Like a lot of people, like my path into this career was not linear. I didn't wake up one morning and say, I want to go save the environment. Um, for me, I was, uh, I've always been passionate and involved with horses. And so I wanted to be a horse trainer my whole life. And I was fortunate in that I worked for a horse trainer for a couple of years and around end of high school kind of realized that wasn't the career path that I wanted to go into. So kind of needed to regroup a little bit and figure out what I was going to do. had started taking a lot of environmentally based uh, classes at the community college because there was a particular professor that I just really um, related to and loved his teaching style. He's doing all of the earth sciences and natural sciences. That kind of just evolved. I uh, went over to the four-year college and they looked at my transcripts and they said, hey, you have a bunch of these environmental classes. Have you considered a degree in environmental science? And no, of course not. I had no plan, right? And I needed to take a couple more chemistry and calculus classes, and I uh, was able to enter that program. So uh, my degree is in a Bachelor of Science in Environmental Science and a minor in Restoration Ecology. Before I even graduated, I just sort of had a family friend uh, who was in environmental consulting, and they were hiring junior level staff, and so I applied, and I remember walking into that interview and one of the people in that interview process said to me, you know, you, you realize you're not going to be saving like the bunny rabbits, right? And I remember thinking like, well, of course I'm going to save the bunny rabbits. That's what I'm here, right? The environment and all that stuff. There's this perception, like I certainly had this, this perception when I was getting my, my degree, my environmental science degree was I'm, I'm literally going to go save the environment. Like I'm going to be out in the woods, out in the trees, you know, along the, the stream corridors all day, every day. And there are some jobs that are like that, so them are not. <laughs> so, so it's everything else that fills in in between that time that the more someone can figure out whether that really fits with their goals or their personality or what they see in themselves. It's also changed for me over the years. When I first started out in my career, I wanted to be in the field more than I wanted to be in the office. Um, as I've um, kind of gained a little bit more seniority and experience, I'm much more in front of my desk um, than I am in the field. So I am figuring out how to tackle the larger pieces of the puzzle and organize strategic approaches for how to implement programs that have a meaningful benefit to the environment or the community. So I think my skill set has shifted. And so the work that I do has shifted with that as well. I think I would just say be passionate, right? I think be honest with yourself and be passionate about what you do. Um, I feel very, very, very fortunate that to be able to do the work that I do. And I love, um, used to be coming into work, but I love uh, getting up every day and doing work wherever, whether it's my home office or my in office. Um, I just think that for me, a lot of it is about the people that I get to work with and the influence that I get to have, um, I can feel it's really, it's just really super rewarding to feel like I've made a difference. Even sometimes if it takes a couple of years to accomplish, right, there's different time scales for what that might look like, but yeah, just lean in, lean in and do the work. It's good work.